Chapter 17 Transforming Karma to Mend the Heavens Above the flying boat, Guhai kept his door closed. He was constantly cultivating the heaven and earth great compassion fulfillment. The heaven and earth great compassion fulfillment was incredibly complicated. A single gong method topped countless other gong methods. Other people's danshan and five orifices, each needing a gong method. But Guhai just a heaven and earth great compassion fulfillment covered everything. Guhai was already surrounded by piles of top grade spirit stones. Huyu. Steeply, Guhai's body was like a black hole, crazily sucking in the spirit chair within the spirit stones. And in an instant, about 10,000 top grade spirit stones were instantly sucked out and turned into pieces. 10,000 top grade spirit stone energy rushed into the body, part of which went straight to the infant fetus of the fire god palace, while the other majority came to the danshan. Where the danshan was, it turned into the spirit mother's chair and slowly condensed a small purple pool. But this small pool was very strange. It was two-sided, as if two bowls were stuck together back to back. The upper pool rotated clockwise, while the lower pool rotated counterclockwise, which was exceptionally weird. The upper is the heaven mending pool, and the lower is the chemical karma pool. The pool of transforming karma to mend heaven. This is coalescing. The first heaven of the heaven and earth great compassion, fulfillment doesn't seem to be that difficult. Ha! Huh. Guhai's eyes opened to reveal a hint of doubt. After analyzing for a while, Guhai shook his head. No, that's because my foundation is good. The true essence within my danshan is condensed by the spirit mother's chair. The spirit mother is the mother of all spirits. The origin of all kinds of spirit chair. That's why it's so easy to condense the heaven's mending pool of transforming karma, even though it's just a prototype. Guhai let out a long breath. A trace of anticipation flashed in his eyes. Your Majesty. Tang Chu's shout suddenly came from outside the door. Hum. Slightly puzzled, Guhai got up and stepped out of the great hall. Squeak, 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 squeak. Outside, countless bats were flying in all directions at this moment. Your Majesty, look, Tang Chu said with an ugly face. However, he saw that in the distance, in the four directions of a large market town, countless bats were flying in all directions, attacking the townspeople in a rampant manner. Help, don't kill me, vampire, help. A series of cries rang out. Vampires, Gu Hai's face sank. Yes, they seem to be attacking the people, Tang Chu said with an ugly face. Gu Hai looked down, but saw that there were indeed twenty black-robed men standing in the distance. Don't worry, we won't kill all of you. There will be ten left alive to report to your emperor. A black-robed man at the head sneered. Seniors of the blood race, we didn't provoke you, a cultivator below anxiously said. You guys didn't provoke me, but Gu Hai provoked me. Go report to Gu Hai and release Chong Ming quickly, otherwise, we will sort of one market town after another. I don't believe that Gu Hai doesn't care about you, the children of Great Han who live outside the city. The black robed man at the head said in a cold voice. What? The three market towns next door? You all killed them. The lower cultivator exclaimed. HMPH, the day Gu Hai doesn't hand over Chong Ming. I'll let his territory be devastated. If you want to blame, blame Gu Hai. The leading black-robed man sneered. High above the sky, Gu Hai looked down. His eyes flashed with a hint of coldness and said, Are you looking for me? The voice of Gu Hai, who was at the Yuanyin realm, was so grand and incomparable that it shook into the bottom in an instant. And countless bats suddenly lurched in their forms and turned their heads towards the sky. The twenty black-robed men below seemed as if they had just discovered it as well. A. Ancient C. A black-robed man at the head revealed a hint of shock. Your Majesty. Emperor help. The people below who were being attacked by the bats screamed in terror. Guhai had a cold look in his eyes, and the infant fetus of the fire god palace immediately surged out with a surge of power. 
only to see Guhai flick his right hand. Boom! The fire that covered the sky instantly covered everything below. Squeak, squeak, squeak. Countless bats suddenly fled in terror. What? What kind of fire is this? The faces of the crowd of black-robed men changed, as the fire even burned to the surface of their bodies. Guhai's control was subtle. The rolling fire didn't burn a single citizen, just countless bats, which burned away in a miserable scream in the blink of an eye. That one wave of the hand, millions of bats burned, watching the people under the city showed a shocked look. On top of the flying boat, there was still a group of great Han generals standing, all of them were staring blankly at this moment, because everyone knew that Gu Hai was only in the Jindan realm in the past. Your Majesty has just been in the Yuanying realm. This, what kind of flame is this, so domineering? The crowd of generals looked at Gu Hai in shock. The flame seemed to stick to the crowd of black-robed men, and it simply could not be extinguished. Ah, this is divine fire the faith divine fire cultivated by demonic beasts, an indestructible divine fire. Gu Hai, you refine the fire god into your body. The twenty black-robed men below desperately pounced on the fire on their bodies. Undying divine flame, a divine fire that cannot be extinguished by those who are not from the heaven-opening palace. The emperor seems to have refined the fire locust god last time. Is it because of that fire locust god? No, divine fire. Isn't the human race unable to manipulate divine fire? Moreover, even demonic beast supreme beings are limited in the amount of faith divine power they can exert. The fire locust god didn't have the ability to exert indestructible divine fire in the first place. What about the emperor? The crowd of generals looked at Gu Hai blankly. Gu Hai also looked at his cast in amazement. Below, the fire filled the sky, and after burning countless bats, it was all sucked back with a wave of Gu Hai's hand. Undying divine flame, and it could be recycled. Why was it possible to cast this divine fire? Gu Hai understood, but it was because of the heaven and earth great compassion empowerment. Ah, ah, ah. The twenty black-robed men below screamed in pain. No matter how much they messed with it, it couldn't be extinguished. Gu Hai, I'm going to kill you. Kill Gu Hai and the fire will go out. Kill him. Twenty black-robed men rushed up to the sky in agony. Gu Hai flipped his hand with a bloody blade. The twenty black-robed men rolled their eyes and arrived close. HMPH, Gu Hai probed his hand and slashed. When he was in the Jindan realm, he was already able to use the Blood Blade to exert Yuanying Realm power, not to mention that Gu Hai was now in the Yuanying Realm. Boom! A black-robed man was instantly chopped in half, followed by his body quickly burning away. Right at the moment of beheading that black-robed man, Gu Hai keenly felt as if a strange force had entered his dungeon. To be precise, it entered the dungeon's karma transformation pool. No. Why am I here? Am I dead? The bizarre force screamed in terror. Hum. Three souls. Gu Hai was however slightly stunned. However, the three souls of the black-robed man that he had just beheaded were sucked into the karma transformation pool, which rotated counterclockwise. It was as if a stone mill was grinding its three souls. Ah, ah, no. Those three souls screamed in pain and gradually disappeared into the karma transformation pool. The heaven mending pool at the upper mouth rotated clockwise, but a trace of nine colored aerosol slowly emerged. Only a little bit. Heaven mending power. Gu Hai said in surprise. He killed Big Brother. Kill him or we'll all be burned to death. The crowd of black robed men rushed towards Gu Hai together. Gu Hai's eyes turned cold as the blood knife chopped down once again. Rumble. In the blink of an eye, fifteen black-robed men were beheaded by Gu Hai's probing hand, and all the three souls of the wicked killed by Gu Hai would enter the karma transformation pool, and in turn, all of them would be transformed into heaven-repairing power into the heaven-repairing pool. Anyone killed by me will not be able to reincarnate. Gu Hai's eyes narrowed slightly as he analyzed. 
The remaining five black-robed men, however, were terrified and fled away. However, the indestructible divine flame enveloped their entire body, so they simply couldn't extinguish it, and after fleeing for a while, they ended up crushing down from mid-air and died. Even after flying far away, their three souls and karma actually entered the karma transformation pool. A bright light flashed in Gilhai's eyes, this gong method, but it was bizarre and unpredictable. Many thanks, your majesty. Long live the emperor. The people of the market town below all knelt down gratefully. If it wasn't for Gu Hai, the town would have been slaughtered by vampires today. All of you, please rise. It is my incompetence that allows the smallest of the small to dare to easily violate the border. But please believe that the great Han will become stronger and stronger. And one day, it will make all the enemies scared and not dare to disturb your stable life. Guhai comforted. Yes, the people answered. Guhai nodded, and with a wave of his hand, the flying boat continued to head towards Kaoj City. Guhai had just lightly destroyed a group of vampires, but it was the group of Great Han generals who watched in astonishment. The Emperor was becoming more and more mysterious. Guhai once again returned to the hall, where he had previously closed, closed the door, and slowly took out the string puppet pole that had already been chopped by Immortal Wanna. The puppet pole, chopped in half, had been completely broken. Splicing the two halves of the puppet pole together, a gravity flashed in his eyes as he poked out a finger, and gently wiped it towards the break, releasing the just-refined heaven-mending power from his fingertip. The heaven-mending power took on the form of an aerosol, and when it touched the fracture, it was hazy and drilled into the fracture. When the fingertip left the break, the aerosol-like heaven-mending power had also completely drilled into it. At this moment, the break disappeared. It was strangely repaired. The heaven-mending power from earlier was consumed in the blink of an eye. What was exchanged was Guhai's stunned expression. Okay, the string puppet pole is fixed. Guhai looked at the magic treasure in shock. The break was smooth as if it hadn't been broken at all earlier. Everything was restored as before. Stunned, Guhai gently prodded with his mana. Buzz! The string puppet pole bloomed with a faint golden light, and Guhai could sense a strand of transparent silk thread waiting to be flung out by himself. Heaven mending power. What a weird heaven mending power. It's fixed. Guhai looked at the magic treasure in his hand in amazement. Another five days later, in the front section of the deck of Guhai's flying boat, a dragon chair was placed. Behind the dragon chair stood Tang Chu and a bunch of other great Han generals who had opened 12 cities this time and returned home. Each and every one of them wore a look of excitement. Above the dragon chair sat Gu Hai, his hands holding the armrests of the dragon chair, eyeing the terrified chair of Kaoj City. Your Majesty, we've arrived at Kaoguo, Tang Chu laughed. Outside of Mending Heaven City, in the middle of a mountain forest, ding ding ding, a zither sounded, and along with the sound of the zither, there was also a little elf flying in the void. The elf flapped its wings for a while and flew into the valley, following the sound of the zither. On a clean boulder in the valley, Fairy Wanna gently plucked the strings of the zither. The little elf surrounded Fairy Wanna. I made a breakthrough. Not only has my cultivation broken through, but my zither dao has also broken through. Being able to play a little elf, Fairy Wanna's face was stunned. Didn't Master say that the technique I cultivate must not leak my Yuan Yin? and that once it does, my cultivation will take a big step back. Why me? And Gu Hai? Why did my cultivation improve instead? Especially that Yuan Yin, after entering Gu Hai's body and coming back, now its power has skyrocketed by countless. Why? Fairy Wanna said blankly.